Hi, I'm Brian Gobranson. I'm an associate professor in the neuroscience program and Department of Physiology at Michigan State University. Hi, I'm David Freed. I'm a researcher in the Gobranson Laboratory and a lead author in a paper in the American Journal of Physiology. This paper is on how ammonia modifies enteric neuromuscular transmission through glial gamma immunobutyric acid signaling. Hopefully you'll take a look after this brief introduction. Ammonia is a cytotoxic waste product of protein metabolism made by gut bacteria. This process normally contributes to setting the pH of the intestine and buffering short-chain fatty acids produced by the microbiota. However, severe consequences can arise if the balance of ammonia detoxification in the liver is disturbed. This can lead to a number of metabolic neurological disorders such as hepatic encephalopathy and Reyes syndrome. The neural circuits that control gut motility are located in the enteric nervous system and these circuits are ideally positioned to transduce changes in local ammonia levels to modify intestinal motility. Prior studies found that ammonia has profound effects on neural circuits in the brain. So we suspected that ammonia may have direct effects on the enteric nervous system that affect gut motility. We initially began to test our hypothesis by analyzing the acute effects of ammonia on the neuronal control of gut contractility in segments of mouse, pig, and human intestine. What we found was surprising. Although ammonia did not drive contractions on its own, it enhanced contractions driven by neural activity. We used mutant mice and selective drugs to dig deeper into the mechanisms responsible for this effect and found that non-neuronal cells in the enteric nervous system called enteric glia play a major role in the effects of ammonia on enteric reflexes. Our data in the manuscript show that enteric glial cells sense ammonia and directly modify neurotransmission through releasing GABA. The main effect of glial GABA release is to enhance neurogenic reflexes and increase motility. Our findings provide new insight into mechanisms that might predispose individuals to severe conditions associated with hyperammonemia, such as hepatic encephalopathy or renal failure. We propose that therapeutic manipulation of these mechanisms might be broadly beneficial to a number of neurological disorders involving toxicity from hyperammonemia.